Hello everyone and welcome to Lush and Salty Aquariums. My name is Stefan and that's Elmo over there on the chair. And we welcome you to the channel and thank you for your support. So I'm standing in one of the doorways to my fish room looking at the rack system. By the way, that's the fire escape door back there. And before the building told me to knock it off, I used to uh, drain my tanks right out the back through the fire escape. But uh, such a city living. Uh, it's a win until it isn't, but uh, I figured out an alternative. Obviously, anyway, this is the beautiful little rack system with my collection of aquarium ephemera, if that's the right word, nostalgic vintage stuff. Ta-da! Let's put these cool lights on, you can see up there. Uh, there's a lot of neat fun stuff there, and one day I'll make a video uh, and talk about it more. I'm going to hit the lights again because I want to focus on... Um, just one of these aquariums today because I did a significant uh, removal of the floating plants as well as a lot of the leaves from the cryptocorn and some of the java fern to kind of air out this 12 gallon bookshelf. This is from Lifeguard. I've seen some people on YouTube talk about uh, their desire for this aquarium. I think it's a really terrific uh, horizontal fish tank and I've got all kinds of wonderful creatures in here that take advantage of the heavily planned system I have here as well as having the real estate to do a pretty nifty aquascape uh, complete with emerged and submerged plants. But I did clear out a ton of the floating plants and there's still a ton. I mean it's a almost daily job. You just run a net or your fingers and grab them out and throw them out. But what's cool is the light that uh, was allowed in from the this higher up here, it's nothing special, uh, but it more than does the job as you can see for this tank. But I can really see the vivid colors on these uh, chili rasboras, which heretofore have been fairly um, blase in terms of the color because of how dark uh, this aquascape was be on account of so little light was uh, impeding over the top there. But by freeing up uh, a bunch of real estate for them to uh, cavort about the tank, here you see a nice group of them, that beautiful uh, red, that chili red, hence the name, just absolutely comes through. I think it's terrific. And I almost forgot how colorful these fish are. And what a wonderful... Uh, combination clown killifish and chili rasboras they're two micro na they're nano fish on a micro scale so you can have many of each in a 12 gallon tank and then i have a few of these wonderful wild pencil fish or pen margaritas pencil fish i believe is the more proper but still common name and i'm not even going to go on the latin of course he's behind a leaf but the great stripes, uh, horizontal, uh, actually contrasting the clown's vertical stripes, kind of fun, right? It's a, it's a wonderful graphic clash. And in any event, the colors that are just booming out of this aquarium now with more light getting through the top is pretty remarkable. I'm gonna try and keep it that way for a long time. It's not like um, the floating plants are, are you know, adding anything that isn't already going gangbusters. I mean, look at that, look at those roots over there from the uh, pothos and other emerging plants. They formed almost sort of a Tolkien-esque structure underneath in the water. And what a, those are just all live roots. Some of them have made their way into the substrate uh, and I've conceded that substrate to them. Unless I break down this tank, I'm never going to change this piece of structure. Um, the moss is deeply entrenched in that uh, hunk of bogwood and the rootstock. I mean, it's, it's in for the long haul. As long as I keep this tank uh, in this aquascape, that piece, that portion will always remain. And why wouldn't I? Look at how cool it is. I mean, that's such a neat structure. I'm not a professional gardener, but I'm really happy and proud with how uh, over time nature and myself have come up with this scheme for the right hand of the tank. Um, hello, Mr. Mystery Snail. A little big for this aquarium, but he wasn't that big when I put him in here and he seems to be happy. His shell looks good. 
uh, real good actually for such a soft water aquarium. I supplement them with a calcium infused uh, product, Schnello. You can get it online or at fish swaps. Helps keep their shells intact. They will degrade quickly, especially in a high acid or um, you know low pH aquarium like this one. This is the other side, which is essentially um, an intense piece of java fern that has grown in, in betwixt in between the bogwood, which uh, basically the only proof of its existence is that stick coming out. Um, the floating plants, these red root floaters have turned into an emergent sort of uh, ground cover. I mean, those were red root floaters, folks, and look at what they look like when they've been out of the water for some time. Now, the rootstocks are just below the water um, in there somewhere. These are more, these are the same plant where you see the bigger leaves across the top of this aquarium. Those are these, so that's pretty cool, right? And then I've got some pothos over here occupying the left-hand side, and of course, my reflections. There is a ton of neocaridina in this aquarium more than any other fish tank i have i mean if i hold the camera here one two three four five six seven they're just everywhere um so obviously the clown killifish and the chili resboras and those pencil fish if they're predating on their juveniles it's not keeping up with the uh, production of baby shrimp or shrimplets so all in all really happy uh, with this sort of aired out version of my 12 gallon long bookshelf aquarium. I hope you agree. And as always folks, keep your hands in the tank and ciao for now.